Farm Manager series providing feedback on work performance. Getting your new staff members trained to do their jobs effectively from the start is the best way to have a happy and motivated employee. Staff who know what's expected of them from their first day on the job can perform more confidently and accurately. I'm Pat McCabe and I'll be taking you through this training. There are many purposes for giving effective feedback. To recognize what your employees have done well and ask for more of it. To encourage your employees while learning a new task so that they clearly understand what's expected of them. To clarify directions that may not have been clear when given. To identify problems and correct them early on before the problems become bigger and to motivate employees to find their own mistakes and develop the ability to self-correct any other mistakes in the future. Note that it's always a good idea before talking with your employees to check your own ego. If an employee is producing acceptable results, is it possible that their process might actually be an improvement to your current operating procedures, or at least an alternative option? Employees can sometimes teach us how to work better as long as we are open to the possibility. However, most people delay or decide not to give feedback because they don't want these reactions from the person. Anger, silence, blame, defensiveness, tears, worse productivity afterwards, or rebuttals. But your staff cannot change what they did wrong in the past. I'm guessing neither can you. If you can change the past, please call me immediately. So the way to get the behaviors and tasks that you want from your staff is to ask for different work from them in the future. Here's examples of asking for change. To get different outcomes, ask for the opposite of what they did wrong before. If someone's frequently late, ask for them to arrive on time. If someone's taking twice as long to do a task, ask them to speed up their work and aim for completing it in half the time. If someone is skipping steps in a task, compile a checklist and ask them to follow it every time. If someone is rude to customers or coworkers, ask them to treat everyone with respect. If someone is leaving the worksite a mess, ask for them to clean the worksite every day before they leave. Start your sentence with phrases such as, I need you to, or it's important for you to, or it would help if you would leave the worksite clean. In order for your staff to hear what's needed and to make the changes to deliver different outcomes, Ask for what you need rather than what you don't want them to do. Deliver requests for change in private. Allow them time to recover and absorb the message. Most people think they're doing a great job. To hear differently can take someone by surprise. Don't delay giving any kind of corrective feedback. Mention needed changes as soon as possible after a problem. Correct their work before their habits are formed. Otherwise, they'll say, why didn't you tell me this earlier? People tend to forget details if too much time has elapsed. Ask your staff to tell you what they'll do differently next time. Listen for if they've absorbed the feedback and can see the way forward. If they say, my last boss never mentioned this to me, you can respond with, I'm your boss now and this is what I need you to do. If they say, I've been doing it this way for years, you can respond with, we're changing the product or method and I'm showing you how your work needs to be done differently now. If they say, I can't do it that way, you can say, let's work on the problem together and find a way you can be successful here. If they say, I won't do it that way, you can respond with, in order for you to perform this job, I'm asking you to adapt your methods and deliver what's needed. Here are some methods you can use to help your staff to absorb and retain the feedback that you've offered to them. Ask staff to evaluate their own work. How do you think that went? What did you see? Allow them time to process the message. Let's talk about this again tomorrow. Ask staff what they'll do differently next time. Tell me what your first steps will be next week. And that's the end of the lesson.